development of that aspect is going to be those ones that you can substantiate, the ones that you can see the active, active ingredients, research it, and then come out with the chemistry. And that is exactly what we are doing. You understand? All those other ones that we cannot substantiate, they will have to wait until the WHO come out with, um, comes up with something for them. For, for now, it is the things that we can see, we can test. I'm talking of herbal medicine with medicinal plants, medicinal products, have, you know, things, natural plants, not, um, natural products, medicinal plants, things you can see. I can take alfalfa plants and tell you the chemistry and break it down. You understand? Those are the things that we are talking about, even at WHO level, when we are talking about African traditional medicine. Um, I worked with her in hospital. Um, this, um, with this, um, with the UH, um, WHO and Research and Development of African Traditional Medicine in Africa. And um, a lot of what they are trying to do now is to see how we can integrate African traditional medicine into the um, general healthcare system of Africa. Because first of all, um, conventional medicine is expensive and it's very hard to get. In some rural areas, you might have one Western practitioner to so maybe 2,000 uh, people, which makes access to healthcare very poor. So we're trying to see how we can make how to integrate African traditional medicine in a modern way, meaning that, number one, the um, ingredients and the um, dosage, frequency, treatments, and things like that have to be substantiated. And there's, going to, there's already ongoing research and development of that to see how to make it in something that is tangible, where you can say, okay, this is a book or a textbook or a, you know, a, 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 a lab or whatever it is to um, make traditional medicine such that anybody, anywhere can replicate the results, replicate the results, replicate the efficacy, and know these are the side effects of the dosage, the treatment plan, and things like that. And um, that's what you were saying about um, people not wanting to give out their secrets. Um, with any, um, with any, healthcare, any healthcare practitioner, even in the pharmaceutical public, a lot of, um, a lot of, <laughs> Things have patterns, have secrets. Even Coke, Coca-Cola have their you know, um, I think there's a point to where they, you know, it all depends on education as well. You want to educate them that, okay, you can give us this much, and this much you can keep to yourself, or stay in such a way that we can protect your own interests so that you don't take your things and make millions from the world you're just letting it go. So a lot of those things are part of what um, she's doing here. WHO to try and number one protect indigenous knowledge because a lot of these old practitioners are not educated and if they die their knowledge goes with them. So a lot of things like that are, are ongoing. And I think within the next five to ten years we're going to see a real big change. And in other African countries are ready to be operated this thing. And I think Nigeria is going to be part of the people that are trying to